India is on a lockdown. WHO has declared COVID-19 a pandemic. 198 countries across the world are racing to fight this world war 3 against coronavirus COVID-19. Hello and welcome to Biotechnica. I'm your host Shekhar and today we are going to talk about a very very important topic which relates to coronavirus. Of course not, I'm not going to give you more gyan about COVID-19 and how to prevent it. There are numerous videos on the internet to give you those instructions. But today we're going to talk about something very very specific about COVID-19 and of course about pandemics overall. So pandemics don't happen overnight. It takes time to happen. And if this kind of a pandemic has to be cured, has to be eliminated, has to be prevented, then measures have to be taken every day. You see, we don't fall sick every day, right? But we take precaution every day so that we don't fall sick, right? Like eating right, exercising or um, having an active life, not a passive life. Now, what happens with pandemics? If you want to eliminate a pandemic or rule out any pandemics in future, the governments of the world must invest in biosciences. They must invest in biosciences research. 13 years ago, when we decided to start a company called as Biotechnica, we sat down to write its mission and vision and only one line came in our mind and that was to promote biosciences, to promote biosciences research across the globe, especially in India. And we have been on this mission since several years now. You see, when we started Biotechnica, many people came to us and said, this field will never grow this field is gonna remain stagnant while i disagree with them this field did grow but today this is the field which is acting as a savior to the entire world 35 companies across the globe are racing against time to build an antibody or a vaccine against coronavirus against covid 19 but None of them are from India. I'll come to that point a little later, but let's talk about coronavirus in detail now. So it progressed from Wuhan in China. Maybe, may not be it originated there, but why did it happen? Because we all are responsible as humans to be blamed. We, we are not investing enough resources towards protecting nature. Instead, this confrontation of nature wildlife and humanity is leading to these kind of diseases. Initially, HIV also originated from animals and came into humans. Now is this COVID-19. So what is really going wrong is we as a civilization are not taking note. We're not doing enough for Mother Earth. Now, let me come back to India. India is a vast country. Mother India has got 150 crore children. But India has got only 2.33% of land mass. And that means every square kilometer, more number of people are staying in India compared to any other country in the world. Okay, let's talk, talk about China. In China, every square kilometer, only 178 people live. While in India, the number is 498. But if I have to talk about the mega cities like Bangalore, Chennai, Mumbai, Delhi, or Lucknow, or Kolkata, 2000 or 2500 people live every square kilometer. That means pandemics can spread faster than fire in India, okay? And that means our governments and our people must pay attention to biosciences, must invest in biosciences research and should acknowledge and understand the requirements of scientists and researchers and young GRFs and SRFs who were just recently on the roads to 
ask for their rightful hike in research fellowship. My dear friends, life science as an industry encompasses all of us. We have to understand that just this small coronavirus has got the power to wipe out three trillion dollars from the world economy. So we have to prepare for these kind of pandemics every day. Then only we can prevent. Our basic health healthcare infrastructure in India is not at par to support any such pandemics, prevent any such pandemics, to quarantine such people who got infected by chance. Every day the score is increasing. Are we here to just watch as onlookers doing nothing? No. We as Indians have to build a better India for a better world. We have to be the role model. And that cannot happen if we do not acknowledge our scientists, if, do not, if, if we do not pay them at par. I know many of my young researchers who joined PhD wanted to do research, they got less payouts and initially in, 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 they eventually got frustrated, left PhD in the middle and joined some IT company. That's not going to solve the problem. We have to invest more in biosciences. We have to nurture people who want to pursue a, their career in biosciences. And we have to understand that they are a part of our society. They are a very, very crucial part of the society, but they only come into picture when pandemics happen. The best of the best doctors cannot prescribe medicine unless there is a medicine, right? That is why when today it is coronavirus, COVID-19, tomorrow it may be any virus or any disease. Humanity, if we want to be ready for any pandemic, for anything such, anything like this, then we must start investing in biosciences. Whether it is public funding or private funding, we must do it. We have to encourage more entrepreneurs to pursue their startups in biosciences. There are thousands of startups in the United States of America, but in India, I cannot count on my fingers. Why is that happening? Because we don't have an environment, a cohesive environment where we can nurture and support such entrepreneurs. Each and every time we keep listening, this field is not going to grow, but only this field is the savior of humanity. It doesn't need to grow. Humanity has to grow to learn to respect this field. My dear friends, with these thoughts, I want to tell you, if you are pursuing life science research, you should know that you are doing a great thing. Salute to you. You should know that after all, finally, the world is waking up and will definitely acknowledge your efforts. Whether you are into marine biology, whether you are into virology, whether you are into any food science or anything related to research in biosciences, let me tell you, you are doing the right thing and do not get disheartened. You keep doing your good job and yes, you are the savior of humanity. You are the superhero, my dear researcher. Don't give up, keep trying. And to the entire, entire world and to all those people who are not from the life science industry, please understand this field needs a lot of nurturing, lot of funding, lots of, lots of support and lots of respect. And if you can do that, trust me, this field will support you back whenever there is a pandemic. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Like and subscribe, comment below if you like this video. Let's come together to build a better India for a better world. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.